two circles are placed in an equilateral triangle as shown in the figure what is the area ratio of the area of the smaller circle to that of the equilateral triangle and so equilateral triangle questions are very common so before we do this question i'm going to reiterate a bunch of facts about equilateral triangle of side a you must know all of these you must also know how to derive all of these don't know revisit the theory it's there in the book it's been dealt with in great detail so go through that because you have to completely stay on top of equilateral triangle equilateral triangle of side a altitude of this triangle is root 3 by 2a which is also the median area of this triangle is root 3 by 4 a square half into base into altitude circum radius of the equilateral triangle is a by root 3 we do not use it for this question but it helps you know in radius of equilateral triangle is half of circum radius which is a by 2 root 3 in radius is half of circum radius because the equilateral triangle not always the case and so area altitude median in radius circum radius all of these you should stay on top of if you don't know all of these numbers hit pause revisit them see how that is derived see that you are totally on top of equilateral triangle then move on to this question right i'm going to start with the assumption the side of this equilateral triangle equilateral triangle is of side a there is a circle inside this circle is the in circle so this will be a by 2 root 3 this will be a by 2 root 3 or diameter of this circle is a by root 3 both put together ad the whole distance this is the altitude which is root 3 by 2 a now we need to find radius of this circle if you join pq to the point of contact a common tangent to both of these and pq will be parallel to bc we call this tangency point as r this is i a o r i d is a straight line right see if you can prove this see if you can establish this but this is clear it's obvious so apq is also an equilateral triangle pq is parallel to bc this angle is 60 this angle is 60 this we knew was 60 so if you know the side of that equilateral triangle then we can find in radius of that equilateral triangle then we are through with that so we know ad is root 3 by 2a we can find ar and with that we can find side of the triangle how do i find ar ar equals ad minus rd sorry ad minus rd excuse me getting just getting confused ar equals ad minus rd which is root 3 by 2a minus a by root 3 rd is a by root 3 that we know root 3 by 2a minus a by root 3 let's take the lcm lcm is 2 root 3 this root 3 into root 3 3a minus 2a is a by 2 root 3 right so ar is a by 2 root 3 again think about this with ar we can find pq we know side of the triangle we can find in radius of that triangle that is easy there is something else sitting here So think about this. A R is a by two root three. R D is a by two root three. Sorry, R I is a by two root three. I D is a by two root three. This distance is equal to this distance. It's equal to this distance. Or A R is one third of A D. Or this equilateral triangle, all the sides of one third of the bigger equilateral triangle. That's a breakthrough. We're talking about two similar triangles, equilateral triangles. Where sides of one equilateral triangle is one third of side of another equilateral triangle. Right? I'm going to build on that. If the side is, if the, this this part is one third of the overall, in radius will also be one third. So this radius, radius of smaller circle, is one third of radius of larger circle. If side of the equilateral triangle were a, then radius of smaller circle is one third of a by 2 root 3 now this we know in radius of an equilateral triangle of side a is a by 2 root 3 or this radius is a by 6 root 3 one third of a by 2 root 3 now we have got area radius of the smaller circle we know side of the triangle finding the ratio should be very easy i'm going to simplify that radius is a by 6 root 3 so area of the smaller circle is pi into a by 6 root 3 into a by 6 root 3 area of the equilateral triangle is root 3 by 
into a square. The a square gets knocked off. That is clear. Pi will stay as it is. 6 gets cancelled with 4. It will be a 2. It will be a 3 here. Another 3. This 2 also disappears. So we have pi is 2. It's already a root 3 here. Into 3 into 3 into 3 or pi is to 27 root 3. The ratio of area of the smaller circle to that of the equilateral triangle is pi is to 27 root 3 after all the manipulation right? and the choice C. The key thing here is to pick that this triangle is similar to the larger triangle and the ratio is 1 is to 3. Once you pick that we know in radius of this uh, larger triangle, we can find in radius of the smaller triangle which is one third of that. Once we know the radius, all we need to do is do pi r square and root 3 by 4 a square. But even to approach this question, you need to know root 3 by 4 a square, root 3 by 2 a, a by 2 root 3, all of that. So totally, totally, totally stay on top of equal triangles. You need to know everything about equal triangles and how to derive them as well.